Today is my last day in Quran and I decided I would go on an island hopping tour since the sun is fully shining. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. This is, uh, I forgot the name of this island, but I'll pop it up here. It's super, super beautiful. I came here on Monday during the monsoon and it was still nice, but in the sun, it's a whole nother place. Visiting today are about a two hour boat ride from the proper town. And once you get here, there's a cluster of them that you, I think six of them you can do in two different tours. sandbar for lunch and it's kind of high tide but it still looks nice. Got my food in the video. No utensils there. I just had to eat with my hands. I'll take that. Yellow watermelon. Mm. First time I've had yellow watermelon. It actually tastes the exact same. I mission to see if I can stand on this sandbar, even though it's high tide. I made it. I can just barely touch. And that is enough luck for the day. I am going back to the boat before I see a box jellyfish. So when this is low tide, right now it's max high tide. It's all just sand and you can walk out about 200 meters. Right now it's about two meters deep. Still nicely. Now the tide's going down so you can see the person standing up in the water. We are off to our third and last destination, Cocoa Beach. Wow, what a place for a swing. So this is Cocoa Beach, I believe. And there's no other tour groups here, so we have all these swings and hammocks and beach to ourselves. Okay, after testing them all out, the winner is this one. It is nicely suspended. It also is in the shade. It's much less worn than the others, has a really good swing to it and the view is just incredible.